we want to make sure that we're outside of our gauge wheels. All right, so we're where our plant is oriented in the row. We want to move out past where the gauge wheel would have run because the gauge wheel will have some compaction here a little bit and stick the shovel in that area. And dig down so right now I could feel a layer about two inches down or something resistance but it was allowing me to go past that so once we get it laid out um, outside of our field edge or trying to evaluate this soil cube and how many roots we have coming through the bottom here. We want to make sure we don't set this plant down and smash the roots. We want to carry it out and lay it down this way. Because if you smash them that's going to uh, give you... Uh... False. False. Uh, if you smash these it's going to look like you possibly had a density layer there and they're turned but they're actually cracked or smashed because this is our this is basically our evidence that we're evaluating we want to preserve our evidence <laughs> just like you would do if you're at a crime scene right make sure you're not affecting the results so we have the soil cube here we want to get a general idea of how many roots are coming through that and you can see that uh, right now we've got some issues because we only have a few roots coming through our soil cube so we've got a layer here and you can see that We've got a lot of these roots that are being turned on this layer. And you know it's a layer because there's just no roots there, coming yeah, through. There's no roots being pushed down. From that, if you look down at the center of the plant, we should have roots coming down uh, from the center of the plant and gradually get bigger as we go away from the center of this root ball. But right away we can see there's a density layer and they're actually sticking out sideways. So. So this is a good representation of what? This is a, a decent representation or a better representation of how we've got a lot of our, our roots coming through our, our root ball. Uh, you can see that we've got a few layers in here that we'll probably find once we look at the first, second, and, and third set of crown roots. But overall for this soil, um, we're still getting enough root development down that we should have a uh, decent potential here. So like if I'm Opposed out in the field, to, and, I, and I, I dig up what you're showing me here, is this something, I mean, should I feel pretty good about that? Or, you know, on a scale of one to 10, how would, you know, 10 being fantastic, one being lousy, where would this, where would this that would rank? This would be uh, somewhere around an eight to uh, eight, eight and a half, and this one on the left is gonna be about a four or five. All right, so this one's a four or five. Versus, versus eight or nine. Yeah, so you Hang can on. see a lot more uh, roots down the center of the root balls we're evaluating, opposed to if I hold them up. We've got a lot that are flattened out on this one side. Yeah. There's almost the non-existent. Yeah, quite a difference. So we hit quite an abrupt soil density change here, where it turned or stopped all of our root development. And what do you think, what, what's your best guess, I mean, what do you think happened? Um, it has to do with our, our last pass in here with our tillage system. So at one point we had a horizontal tillage going on through the field and we set a density of change. Uh, sometimes uh, we have to, to evaluate the difference between a density change uh, and a compaction layer where it actually could be a wheel track or some, something that actually compacted the soil or compressed it versus something that we did uh, with our practices, tillage practices. We're going to want to take a sharp, so we'll go ahead and chop patch it and work our way, slide it down the, the stalk of the plant and cut through these brace roots. And why are we cutting through the brace roots? Because we want to get rid of the fourth and fifth set of crown roots or your brace roots and we want to look at the smaller uh, first, second, and third set of crown roots. Um, so we want to get rid of some of this stuff that is responsible for um, just bracing the plant for sustainability. We want to get down to the heart of it so we can evaluate 
um, the roots that are responsible for yield. The key is to, to travel down the stalk deep enough to cut some of the upper roots but not too deep where you cut through some of your evidence. And once we have the, the root ball fairly cleaned up, uh, we can go ahead and take a soil knife or a pocket knife and cut through some of the roots we didn't get with our hatchet. We're going to do a little bit finer dissecting here. Every time we cut roots off, then we can go ahead and tap all the soil uh, away from it. So if we look down at the center here, our first set of crown roots will be the smallest diameter and closest to the center. And the second set will be a little bigger diameter. Third will be bigger diameter yet, and it'll be further away from further away from the where the mezzocotto was. So that's really your your uh, inner nodes in between those. So as you go further down the plant, you got the fourth, fifth, would be sixth set of crown roots. And really those roots start at each node. So this is your inner node, this is your node, inner node, node. But when that plant is developing early on, those inner nodes are stacked pretty tight together. That's why it's pretty, pretty important to dissect the plant and get down to the first, second, and third set. And evaluate but it's also somewhat of a uh, um, careful you want to be careful when you get close enough so that you're not chopping away some of your evidence but once we get down here then your each crown root system should be inside so the oldest ones should be inside of the ones that are younger so your first set is the oldest set seconds thirds so your first set should be inside of your second, your second should be inside of your third sets.